Hello, in the video coming up we will look at accessing files in Chrome OS Linux. When you first install Linux you'll notice you don't have access to your files in your downloads folder. That's easily rectified and I'll show you how to do that in this video. But once you've done that it's about actually locating those files and how you locate your files from your downloads folder and how you locate files from Google Drive and how you can then implement that into the software and it make it easy so you don't have to keep on going into different directories or folders to find the files that you want to use. So we'll look at that now on the computer. Okay, so here we are on the Chrome OS desktop. From here, if we go to, I've, I've installed a couple of programs. You do need to install Linux before you do this. If you haven't done that and you want to know how to do it, I've got videos that will show you how to do that. Just have a look in my channel. Uh, but from here, if we go to the Chrome OS start menu here, or the launcher menu, and find your Linux apps, I've got GIMP here installed, which is an image editor, and I've got OpenShot, which is a video editor. So if we go into GIMP, just load that up, and then from here, if we wanted to open up an image file to edit, if we went to open, this is what you'd most likely be seeing on your screen. So to access your Linux files, it's quite quick actually now. I think they've changed it compared to how it used to be. So that's these here. So when you install Linux, you get a Linux folder here. And as you can see, I've put a little picture in there of a dog and that's in the Linux file. So to access those files from here, you just simply click on the NIST. Now this I've got ccomputingdev.com. When you set up Linux, you choose the Linux name you want to use. So that's what that will be there. So it'll be different on your computer. By default, it uses your Gmail address. So you click on that and then that gives you access to your Linux files. So that's the files here. So that's all fine. If you want to access files from your downloads folder, or if you want to access your files from your Google Drive, it's a bit different. So if we just cancel out of this here, and then be, I'm using GIMP here, but you don't have to use GIMP. You can do this in a file explorer, or you can do it in other programs as well. But if you go back to here, and first thing you need to do is to share your downloads folder. Again, that's really easy. Just right click on the downloads folder and just put share with Linux there, like that. And you can see that it's shared because if you go off that folder and then go back to it, you'll have this up here. This folder is shared with Linux and then manage. And I think they've kept that there just so you remember because it's easy to forget that you've shared certain folders with Linux and you might not want to share your folders with Linux all the time. But once it's shared, you'll have this manage option. If you wanted to, you click on there and you can click that, close that there and that will then remove the sharing to Linux. So once you've shared your downloads folder with Linux, then if you go back to the program, like that, and then do file and then open. From here, it's a little different to find. So you go to file system here, and how it works with Linux is, it, when you share your downloads folder, it, it treats it as if it's a mounted device. So it's the same as if you had a USB stick installed, that would be a mounted device. So it's under MNT, which stands for mount. So open up MNT, so it's file system, and then MNT, and then from here, you'll see Chrome OS, open that, and then you will have my files, open that, and then you'll have downloads. And that downloads there, open that like that, that is then, the exact same of the files that you've got here. So that's how you access them. Now you might think that that's quite time consuming to get there and you may forget if you don't use it a lot, but once you get used to it, it's fine. However, you can get there quicker. So if you just go back to it, so it's file system, MNT, as you can see up here, Chrome OS, my files, downloads, and as you go into them, you can see up here, you've got the MNT. So these are like breadcrumbs. So you can go back to wherever you want to of there. So you go back to MNT, go to my files, go to downloads. So that's good. And then from there, if you wanted to access these files all the time without having to find them during, through that MNT, then Chrome OS, just simply go back one, 
So when you've got downloads highlighted like that, just click on the plus sign there. And what that will do, it will put it there for you. So there in the future, you can just simply click on there and you'll get to your downloads folder. Now the good thing is I'm no Linux expert, so I don't know, but I've tried this on other software and it actually works on there as well. So I assume when you're coding Linux programs, you can use certain standards. And if you use the certain standards, they all get the data from the same place rather than if it was bespoke, perhaps it wouldn't. I don't know, I don't use Linux enough. But what I mean is I'll show you. So as you can see now, you've got downloads there. And this is in GIMP what we're using, but it's also the same if you then open up OpenShop for on here. And you might have other programs as well using Linux, but if you then go to File, Open, you'll also see it's available in here as well. So that's the good thing when you create them, they're in, in, in other programs as well. So it, it allows you to easily access the files. So the C computing, or for you, it will be your Gmail address. That's how you access your Linux files. And then once you've got your mount, Chrome OS, my files, downloads, that's how you access your downloads and you can quickly add them to here. But then if you wanted to, you, if you wanted to access your Google Drive files, what you'd want to do, if you cancel out of there, so we'll stay in open shot. So we use this one this time, just to show you, you can do it in most programs. If you go back to here, if we go to Google Drive and then click on share with Linux like that and then press OK. And then that's shared. So if you file and open, again, it's where your file, I'll go to the file system and even though we've got a shortcut. So file system, MNT, Chrome OS, and now you'll see that Google Drive is also there. So all you need to do is share your Google Drive and then it shows in this location. And again, you could then just right click on that and press add to bookmarks or whilst it's highlighted like that, the same thing there if you do it that way. So then you've got really quick access to your Google Drive and you've got really quick access to your downloads folder. So if I'll just go back to GIMP because the reason no images are show, no files are shown in OpenShot Editor it's looking for videos. But so if we just open up GIMP and then you'll see that you then get access to your files and then file open. And because we've got them now really quick down here, just click on downloads and you've got all of your files here from your downloads. And the good thing is it seems to stay there even if you remove the sharing. So let me just show you. So close down that, go back to this here say we are not going to share google drive so we take google drive off you've got your download you've got google drive just click that and that's taken away the google drive sharing now if we go back to one of the programs open up gimp again i should have just left it open and then go to file open you'll see that it's no longer there in the shortcut but then if you later decide that you want to share some files in Google Drive just temporarily, if you just cancel that, go back here and share your Google Drive. Okay. And obviously you don't need to share your whole of your Google Drive. You could just share certain folders in your Google Drive as well. And then go back here and do file open. And you'll see that it's remembered that you had a shortcut for Google Drive. So that's really good. So you haven't got to go through that process again of setting it up. So that, that's definitely improved. It wasn't as streamlined as that when I did a video for this a few months ago. So they've definitely improved how you can access your files in Linux. So it's really good. Okay, and that's it. That's how you access files on Chrome OS from your downloads folder or your Google Drive when you're using Linux programs. I hope you liked this. If you did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.